Hey everybody, so welcome back to the garage in the daylight. I'm hoping this video shows a little bit better the whole cage. I know I did a quick review of the brooder when I was um, just cleaning it out, preparing it the other day, but I wanted to give you a look in the daylight with the chicks in there. So again, this is my hatching time quail cages. The bottom two are for grow outs and these top two, well, I just have one row full right now, are for the breeders. This row will be, and then an extra for injuries because that does happen sometimes. And then up here is the beautiful new brooder. You can see in the last video, I tried to show the door um, that it adjusts. So I do have mine just a finger height here, and that helps to get some airflow through. Um, but it still keeps them warm because this is solid. It's got, you know, spaces around it. It's got some space on the side, but just to get some good airflow here. And with the heat on in there, they have been plenty warm. So that's, that's been working. And so here's a peek inside. You know, there's a lot of people that do line theirs with paper towels and you can, but these mats actually just pull up really easily. So I just take them out every, you know, day or two, depending on how much they're <laughs> pooping at that age and um, just rinse them and put them back in. And so I just clean these out. Here's the babies. They've been running around very happy. Um, if you can tell, the one change that I did make here is, um, and I did this the last few times that I used this brooder too, but I actually moved the heat that you see up there. In the last video, it was on this side and I moved it on this side and I took the light out. So I do leave it with the light in just for the first few days, but after that they've, you know, kind of adjusted to their space and they're okay. Um, and I do have a little bit of light that stays on in the garage anyway, so I don't need a light to stay in there. The problem with having it over here is that when I built my cage, I built it following the instructions to have the water here. And so the issue with that is it makes me super nervous to refill my water and to have the electrical component right there on the side. So instead, I flipped it over, and these cages are versatile, so you can hook it up over here, and so that way the connection's just on the back side of that. And you could even put your water, when you build the whole system, you can just build your water on the left side, however you prefer it. But anyway, so here's just an update on my babies. They're just two days old, and they are happy, running around, lots of space. I only have, what do I have, two, four, six, eight, ten. I only have ten in here. Um, but there you go. There's a good look for everybody.